Good day. In this video, we are going to learn how to use trig ratios as well as Pythagoras theorem to calculate the angle of a three-dimensional cuboid. This will help people who are aiming to get merit and excellences in the NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning paper at the end of the year. So before, without further ado, let's solve this. We have a cue board in front of us. They are labeled as A, B, C, D at the top and E, F, G, H at the bottom. We are going to find angle B, H, F and we are going to label them as theta. B, H, F we're going to label as theta because it's easier that way, okay? And the length of the cue board is H, G is 3 cm. GF is 4 cm and BF is 3.5. It is not done to scale. That's why the numbers is a bit weird. Okay, so now before we even find theta, we need to find the length HF. Okay, because we need to have two sides to calculate the angle theta. So we need to find the length HF. Before we find the HF, we have to look at this bottom part of the cuboid. So H EFGH is the bottom part of the cuboid and HF is the diagonal. So the angle FGH is 90 degrees. Okay, at the corner of the wall is going to be a 90 degrees angle. So that is what we're going to calculate. So we're going to label that as F, G, and H. Okay, and that is 90 degrees. Then we're going to put in the numbers there, okay? So this is 4 cm, FG is 4 cm, FG is 4 cm, HG is 3 cm, and we are going to calculate the length HF. To do that, we have to use Pythagoras theorem. So the formula for Pythagoras theorem is A squared plus B squared equal to H squared. So if we want to find HF, we're going to label that as X, okay? So the first step we're going to do, we are going to label the side. So the longer side is X because it's opposite the 90 degrees. So the longer side is represented by H and A and B doesn't matter. So we're going to put A here for 3 and B equal to 4. Next step, we are going to substitute the value. Instead of A, we're going to replace with 3 squared. Instead of B, we're going to replace by 4 squared. And instead of H, we're going to replace by X squared. Then you're going to put in your calculator, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, that is equal to x squared. So x squared equals to 25 cm, and then to find your x, you square root 25, and the answer is going to be 5 cm. So the length hf is 5, so we're going to put them in our diagram there. So hf is now going to be 5 cm. So now... If we know HF is 5, we can easily find theta because the angle BFH is also 90 degrees. So we're going to put 90 degrees here. The angle between BFH is also 90 degrees. So we're going to put BFH into a new triangle. And then we are going to calculate the angle theta. Okay. And then we're going to put the value. BF is 3.5. And then we have found earlier that HF is 5 cm, we're going to put 5 cm. Now we have done that, we are going to solve for theta, the angle theta. So to do that, we need to label the side. So this is opposite of the angle, 3.5 is opposite of theta, and 5 is the adjacent. Okay, so to do that, to solve this, we can use the formula so ka otoa. Okay. Because we have O and A, we have to use the tangent formula. So tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. The next step, we're going to substitute in the value. So tangent theta equals to O, which is 3.5, and A is going to be 5. Put in your calculator, it's going to be 0 0.7. So tangent theta is 0 0.7, and the last step we're going to find is to find the angle theta. So theta is going to be tangent inverse of 0 0.7 and you put in your calculator and the answer will come up to 34.99 degrees because the degree cannot be in 2 dp we go round them up so this is going to be 35.0 degrees this is how you calculate the length and angles of a triangle of a from a cuboid and this is part of the NCA geometric reasoning merit and excellence question See you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.